Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Today I'm doing pina colada pound cake. It is inspired by my many trips to Red Lobster, y'all. I love their pina colada, of course. So the main ingredients in that will be in this pound cake. But we're gonna first start off with our butter, sugar, and four ounces of cream cheese. It's gonna cream together for about 10 minutes. Everything in this batter will be room temperature, guys. So we're gonna add in our eggs one at a time. Before our last egg goes in, we're gonna add in our flavor. I use lower end oils, some pineapple, y'all. That flavor is so good. I use some rum extract and also some coconut extract as well. Now the last egg is going in, and I'm just going to mix until well combined, you guys. Make sure you always mix everything up. does not have to be on a high speed. I always do mine on a speed of three. Now I'm going to scrape down my bowl again before my next step, which is adding in an instant pudding mix. I know a lot of people say it's not a pound cake if you're adding in all these other ingredients like your instant pudding mix. I'm like, well, it's a pound cake to me. So <laughs> that's what I do, y'all. I just want to make sure my cake is moist. Then I'm going to go on to my wet ingredients right here. This is Coco Lopez's cream of coconut. If we can get it out the can, it's just so thick off in there. But this coconut is going to get mixed up well. It's going to look like the consistency of some, I don't know, cream of wheat or something or some loose grits. But that is just your coconut. And you're going to mix that with your buttermilk. Now mix it in well with it, y'all. Stay with me. It's going to be all right. Mix that in. This is your wet mixture. Now we're going to move on to our dry mixture. This is just King Arthur cake flour half teaspoon each of baking powder and salt and just whisk it together and there you go that's your dry mix now you're going to turn your mixer off well i do i turn mine off so i'm gonna have a big old cloud of, of, of flour everywhere and i put in a third of my flour and then half of my wet mixture and i'm just going to mix well after each addition not too long you guys once you go back and forth with this this is the procedure for getting this cake well combined just going back and forth, mixing well after each addition. Now, this is very important on that last mix in of your flour. I like to turn my mixer off. I mean, you could have put in all your flour like this and folded it in. That's so time consuming. I mean, it's definitely worth the effort. But if you keep your, your mixer on a speed of like just stir, just the lowest setting, it'll be okay. That last addition, I definitely recommend to fold it in your cake will be so moist and you will thank me later. So then I wanted to put in a little pineapple, not a lot, maybe like a fourth of a cup, just to have a little nice little chewiness in there, some more pineapple flavor, which is really not needed. But I just smashed it down to get a lot of the juice out. And I definitely wanted to put in half of that at first. This is only like a fourth of a cup. But I did not want to put it all in just in case. I mean, it didn't have that much juice left in it. But I'm just always cautious with my pound cakes. I do not want my batter to be too moist and just liquid. You, you don't suppose to have a really loose batter. You don't. So, of course, I saw that and I put the rest of that in. It's only a fourth of a cup. Didn't hurt nothing, y'all. I'm worried for nothing. So, I put that in, folded it in. I was ready to go. I had to, of course spray my pan well with some baker's joy that's just to make sure that my cake does not stick baker's joy has flour in it and it definitely works really well with your baked goods and that's 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 why i use it it's just it works really good so the other thing you're going to do is just spread it out before you put it in the stove just make sure it's good to go the stove is on like 320 i know people say 325 you could use 325 mine's on 320 it's going to be in there like an hour, 20 minutes. I suggest you make sure you test it in like an hour. Use your tester. If it comes out clean, you're good to go. But test it starting in like an hour. Of course, this is another step a lot of people probably don't do, especially with their pound cakes. But I do. I like to have my pound cakes so moist on the outside, inside, everything. And to me, they work well with your 8 or 9 inch pans because your 8 or 9 inch pans cake, it will come out kind of flat so if you wanted to have to do a design or anything people have to shave off the top of their cake you don't have to shave off a dome on your cake when you use your cake strips because you won't have one it'll be a nice flat cake you can start decorating as soon as it cools off but for a pound cake to me 
it just makes sure that the outside of my cake is really soft and moist and of course that my cake bakes up evenly of course it's a little bit more haphazard to do it on this here doesn't just come out right the first time it took me a minute to get it like that once it baked in the stove it was golden brown i took it out i flipped it out on my um cooling rack it was on there maybe like 10 minutes well it was in the pan 10 minutes and then i flipped it out it's gonna be a good hour and a half y'all before it really cooled down now this is my glaze I did put in some room temperature cream cheese and some powdered sugar. And I'm also going to put in a little rum. I put in a little vanilla. And as you see, I put in a little yellow food coloring as well. I don't know. In my mind, I just feel like I have some pineapples in it. I can make it a little different. I can put a little yellow in it. So you can do it. You don't have to put the food coloring. That is not a must for this. It's not. That's just optional. I took it off the blender and started doing it myself. I just add in my milk and just, I'm just creaming it until it's a nice consistency. I could have used a whisk attachment, but I guess I like doing it like this, y'all. So I did that or whatever. And once it was nice and creamy, I poured it in my cup. It would be just, it's, to me, it's just easier. That's all. It's just, you could do however you want to do it. Because like I said so many times before, the cake is the star of the show and it's just easier to do it like this. You can put that uh you can put that glaze on any kind of way you want to put it on. Just do what you want to do. There you go. It's there's no rhyme or reason, y'all. Just put it on any kind of way. And I'm telling you, this cake is so delicious. But I wanted to take a slice out for you guys to see. There are no gooey, buttery strips through there, or none of that. It's so it it cooked up so delicious. My grandbabies love this little cake when I put the little umbrellas on top. I didn't really like them up there, but I took them off and I gave them their slices with their little umbrellas on top and they were tickle pink. But I want to thank you guys for watching. This turned out amazing.